Carhartt is a brand rooted in Detroit's history. Launched in 1889 and founded by Hamilton Carhartt, the company had a focus, men's workwear. But where the journey began is not entirely about the men. It's actually about the women. So when Carhartt first started, uh, Hamilton Carhartt had an idea for purpose-built overalls for railroad workers. Uh, so the first people literally that he recruited were women with sewing experience. Women who not only helped build the foundation of this legacy company, but who were very much involved in charitable work and other causes in the city. There was actually a club called the Carhartt Club. It was an industrial club at the time that um, advocated for workers' rights. There was even a Carhartt ladies band and drum corps that would perform and was very well known in Detroit. And soon the first women's workwear piece from Carhartt emerged. It was in 1917. Uh, it was a relatively relatively simple thing. It was a coverall. Deborah Ferrero, Carhartt's vice president of product development, has been with the company for 28 years. She says the women's products continue to evolve, adding that there's a strong emphasis, as it was in the beginning, to get out there in the field and see what really works. One of our most popular items is the, uh, the women's uh, force utility legging. And that came to be from a team being on a, uh, a horse farm, talking to women, and they were wearing yoga pants. They're like, we want the comfort of the yoga pant, but the durability of a Carhartt work pant. It's that effort that Deborah hopes women can see when they look at the Carhartt brand. For them to feel like they're empowered, they're empowered to, to, to work just as hard as men and uh, the same functionality as the men's product, but really developed and built for women. And empowered, knowing that behind the brand of strong workwear, there has always been and continues to be equally strong women. For 7 Action News, I'm Alexandra Bahu.